stay by the water. Are you serious? Oh, yeah, because you have no other place to go. <laughs> <laughs> you can't believe it. Oh, my God, you are so funny. Come on, tell me another thing. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you'll be wanting what I'm sitting on. You're so funny. Yes. Tell and then, me um, I'll tell you something. Rosie, I'd like to ask you a question. Have you ever sat by the riverside, you know, throwing pebbles after pebbles into the water? You know something? There's this ripple, you know, these pebbles you throw into the water causes. They're so beautiful. So very beautiful that you just can't but think that this ripples you just go on forever that's the way i feel it i with you and you know furthermore there's this feeling i have from the inside of me that there's this hand this spiritual hand from allah you know standing there or maybe better still sitting by the water side you know throwing these pebbles after pebbles into the water, you know, causing ripples after ripples. And you can't but feel that these ripples, you just go on, on, on forever, onto eternity. Rosie, do you know I just feel most times that you are me and I'm you? Sonky, Rosie. I love you. That's what it means in Hamza. <laughs> Never mind, very soon you get to know. <laughs> you get to learn that, okay? Okay, too. Yes. What's the point, Rosie? Please. From the bottom of my heart, I got something for you. I just finished your harmless. What is it again? I just finished your harmless. It's so beautiful. Mm. Yeah. I got it. Can I have your finger, please? Come on. Mm. Yeah. Oh, there we go. You see, Rosie, will lie. My life is not complete without you. Will you be my wife? I want to marry you. Sweetie. Be whatever you want me to be. I'll marry you. to know who the person is? I know the person that asked you to marry him. Ah, tell me. And I do not approve. Now let me tell you something. Remove that ring and return it back to him. I don't want your father seeing that ring when he comes back. No, there is nothing wrong with Kadri. I have not said there's anything wrong with Kadri. All I'm saying is that Kadri is a good man. And it will make somebody a fine husband someday. But that person is definitely not you. Why? Listen to me, young girl. You have to go and find your own husband. That is all I am going to say on this matter. Okay? No, no, no. No, 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 shh! Shut up! You understand me? 
Now, better remove that ring from your finger. I don't want your mother to see when he comes back. He's not going to approve of it. Well, I am not ready to take off my ring. Finance director brought this file to my office and he says you asked him to give it to me. But I can't understand this. Uh, okay, yes. I wanted you to study it and uh, let, let, let me have your recommendations. You see, there are a few items I'm trying to invest in. And I would like your opinions on them. But, Raji, but you know that this is not my division. <laughs> Finance. <laughs> Father, this company does not belong to me alone. Look at the signboard outside. It says Al Haji, Brahman, and Sons. So, whether it is your division or not, I want you to get more involved in the running of this company. So, go and study the file and let me add your recommendations. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, oh, by the way, there's something I want to talk to you about. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Gadol. Oh, you are a good boy. You are a very, very good boy. You make me extremely, extremely proud of you. How, how many Nigerians can go to Harvard and come out with maxima cum laude? <laughs> ah, and then you came, you joined us, and you have been doing extremely well. Oh, I am very, very happy. But you see, my son, no matter how successful we are in life, it will amount to nothing if we don't have anybody to share it with. Alaj, Alaj, Haba, you don't need to make all this speech to tell me what you want to tell me. Because I already know what you want to tell me. You do? Of course. Mm -hmm. What you want to tell me is that it is time for me to settle down. Haka. And I know I am also thinking about it. <laughs> oh, oh, you are a wonderful son. Oh, oh, good. We are on the same wavelength. You see, I've been talking to Alaji. What about Alaji? I mean, not his daughter, of course. Oh, she was in England when you were in the United States. <laughs> Adam, wallahi tallahi, if I wasn't thinking of marriage for you, I would have married her myself. <laughs> she has turned out to be a most exquisite woman. <laughs> you will make a wonderful couple. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> Not that kind of funny. I like you. This is 2005. And no man marries a wife or another without the person's opinion. Fine, I want to settle down. But I'm not going to settle down with Aminat or whatever you call her. I am going to find myself a... Listen to me and listen good. As long as I'm alive, and let me tell you, I intend to be alive for a very long time, and I am your father, I will take decisions on who you take up as wife. And it doesn't matter 
whether it is 2005 or 10,005. You are going to marry Aminat and there is nothing that will change that. You're no longer sounding like a father, but like a dictator. Maybe there is no democracy in the home. Now would have I? I brought you into this world, and I will make the decision on what is good for you. came back last night. Your mother said something to me. She said that somebody had asked you to marry him and that you had accepted. And whoever that person was must have given you that ring, I presume. It is the wish of all parents that their children uh, find spouses and get married and bring up their own families. This is our prayer for you. But while we are praying, we ask God that He should give us the right person to get married to. Marriage, marriage is a commitment. It is not something you just jump into in a hurry. Dad, I am not jumping into it in a hurry. Oh yes, I, I think you are. Because if you were in your senses, the right thing for you to have done is to ask of our opinion before getting that ring from him. Dad, Kadri asked me to marry him. And I couldn't ask him to wait for me to come back home to seek your consent before saying yes. Dad, I'm a mature woman now, Dad. And I know what I want. By the way, who, who is this... Uh... Cut. He is he's a large Brahman's son. Uh, let me let me see the ring. Come on, baby. this morning. You will know 
that it is with sweat and money that I brought you into this world. And to train you to this level. And if you have lost your senses, let me remind you. That your father is a knight of the Roman Catholic Church and an evil man. And if it is a curse, my daughter will not get married to a house of Muslim. If it is a curse, I will remove it right now. Please let me have my ring. Angela! Talk to your daughter because I think that she has not got Is that you? Sweetheart, what's the matter? Yeah, Kadri, please, can, can I just see you now, please? You're crying. Yeah, it's, it's very important, please. You are not at work? No, I, I've not gotten to the office yet. I don't think I'll be going there today. Okay, okay, Um, let's meet at our usual spot. Okay, I'm on my way. I'm going there right now. Oh, oh, sh sure, 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 why not? I'll be with you. Okay, sweetie, I'll be waiting for you. Please just try and me, you know, let's see now. Now, now, now listen to me, listen to me Rosie. No matter what, okay? Don't you do anything stupid. Can you go? You heard me? Okay, all right, yeah, take care. It's okay, it's okay. Listen, Rosie, I have a feeling that things will work out itself, okay? Alright? Thanks for doing this. See you next week, okay? Okay, I don't want to lose you. No, sweetie. I don't want to lose you. It's okay, it's okay. You won't lose me, okay? You won't lose me. Okay? We're gonna be together for eternity, okay? We're like ice. And the mountain, the water, and the fountain. Alright? You know what I want. I will never be separated from you. Okay? Mm -hmm. I found it. And I'll be free to you. So, that's really good. Okay. So, that's really Ah, Captain. 
I didn't hear about that. Uh, be finished with the acquisition papers. Yes, Elijah, I have. Good, good. Elijah, I'm so tired. Let me go change up and have a bath. Oh, by the way, have you given any more thought to what you and I discussed? Uh, what is it, Elijah? You're settling down? Uh, yes, Elijah. Good. I have uh, already seen who I want to spend the rest of my life with. Good. And who might that be? Alaji, I'll bring her over so you can see her. I didn't ask you to bring me someone for me to see. I asked you to prepare yourself for Alaji, my tennis daughter. And I'm sure you are making some preparations. As a matter of fact, I have invited her here tomorrow night for dinner. You will make yourself present. Do I make myself clear? To Akni Alaji. Who knows what Tower Kalitu has gone to arrange a stupid marriage with. In as much as you have the right to choose a wife for yourself, don't you think you're taking this whole thing a bit too far? Tahu, there's nothing like taking anything too far when you meet a woman you love. Kadri, your father has every right to whom you eventually make your wife. Don't forget we are Muslims, and this is Nigeria. Absolute nonsense. Absolute nonsense, Abu Bakr. All right? This is a new generation. Everybody should take all that tribal and religious mumbo jumbo to their bedrooms. I don't need it. Do you know the saying about the dog that has death before its eyes? Its ears are normally blocked to reason. And that is exactly what is happening to you right now, my friend. Well, my eyes are wide open. What is wrong with me, my and Igbo girl? What is wrong with me, my and Igbo girl, for? It's not just because it's an Igbo girl. She's also an infidel, a Christian. I can't believe this is coming from you, one night. When we were in America, were you not dating Eve Woman? Was Eve Woman not an Igbo girl? Oh, -ho. so Igbo girls are good to drink and sleep with, but are not good enough for us to marry. I ask you. Haba Kadri, we are raised with Islamic tenets and I do. Koba Hakabani. You cannot throw all that away because you want to get married to one so-called Rosie you call your wife. Wallahi Tahi. Wallahi Tahi. I can't believe I'm sitting here with a bunch of hypocrites. Look at you, Tahi. You have a glass of beer in your hand. Look at you, Abu Bakr. Are you not drinking beer? Huh? And you feel you can righteously call some other person an infidel? What is the difference between you and that? Is drinking of alcohol not forbidden by Islam? To but to but do not prevent issues. We are discussing about a woman you're going to spend the rest of your life with. What does she know about our religion? What does she know about our people? How is she going to handle your father and others when you have people to interact? Who cares? Daddy, who cares? What is important to me is that I met a woman I love. All right? Rosie and I are going to live in our own world. A world that has turned into a global village. A world where traditional ideas, culture, and religion has been swallowed up. I don't care if Rosie understands or speaks Hausa. All right? Again, look far. Rosie Nick is so shaking at Baba! Oh, my dear daughter, don't worry. I've asked someone to go and call him. You know, my dear, 
you have a lot of work to do to bring him out. Kadu is a very reserved boy. I know Alaji. From what I've heard so far, he was never one for the party circuit. Good. <laughs> you know, as far as I am concerned, is your husband. <laughs> he is your husband. And nothing, nothing will lie the like and ginger. <laughs> Unless your father is in opposition. Ah, <laughs> How can one be in opposition? to be united with such a wonderful family. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you are giving us credit, more credit than we're worth. No, no, Anandji, <laughs> you deserve any praise that is being heaped on you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are biased. You are biased. Oh. Ah, 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 my boy, <laughs> you look very well. <laughs> Yeah, this country is good. <laughs> it is, isn't it? It is my money that is working. And my food. <laughs> that is why I want him to get married. So that he can eat his wife's food. <laughs> I don't think your father will take this kindly. You have committed sacrilege. And you better take this girl out before your father comes back. I brought him into this world. And I will not hesitate to take you out of it. You will not put so much scorn in my face and expect to live. No, Alaji. Don't kill your son. Baba Lilim, kill me, I've told you. If you do, just go ahead and kill me. Hajima, Hajima, kill me, sir. Elijah, my Taba. Please, Elijah. Wallahi, Tallahi. I will kill him. I'll bury him. And nothing will happen. I will kill him. Look at the idiot. I want, to, I want him to make something of his life. But what does he do? He turns around and brings me a yummy and tells me in the presence of my illness that that is the person he is going to marry. Oh, Allah will receive you today. By tomorrow, get out of the way. 
and I did not shoot your son. He said, shoot me first. I will kill him and bury him and nothing, nothing will happen. Killing him will not be Look at the idiot! I brought him into this world. I wanted him to make something of himself. But what does he do? He comes and tells me that he wants to marry a Yamani. I shouldn't have come at all. I told you it would do no good. Now see the problem you've caused for us. Rosie, well, he didn't cause any problem for her. Because eventually, this problem would have still come up. Well, Lahi to Lahi, it is best my father gets to know that there is no way I can change my mind. Well, Lahi. Sweetie. He would have killed you. He could have shot you. I would rather die. I would rather die in what I believe in. Rosie, I believe in you for lying. go back home yet. So where would I sleep? Maybe you could, you know, check into a hotel. I could come around and spend some few hours with you, you know. Rosie, you know, one of us is already in trouble. And I, I don't want you to get into any kind of trouble with your parents. Because we need them if we must win this battle. So what are we going to do now? What are we going to do? You know I've been thinking of something. What? Maybe I should just go fast to Christianity if that will make your parents happy. Hell no, no. Look, there's just no way I can let you do that. I mean, you, you can't compromise your faith because of me. And even if you try it, your father will disown you. <laughs> That's why you're wrong, you know. That's why you're wrong. My father can never disown me. The worst he can do is put out a fat on me. What if I, I convert to Islam? No, no, Rosie, no. No, it's not time yet. Do you know, if you, if you do that, you see, my father will know that you did that to get his approval. Okay? Besides, think about your father. Mr. Robertson, Knight of St. John's, that man would disown you. So what are we going to do? What? And why are things so difficult?
country. Do you think we are meant to be together? Oh, shh. You don't profess negativity. Okay? God. Rosie. There is no mountain that can be climbed. And there's no river that is not fordable. We need to stay strong for each other. Okay? Okay. Alright? We have Just to keep it. Mm -hmm. Get out of that car. I said get out of that car. How many times have I told you not to talk to that imbecile? What have I told you about that ape? I told you I didn't want to see you with him anymore. Now get into the car. Here. That is the ring that you gave to my daughter. I will not be alive and see a man of Hausa extraction. Least of all a Muslim take my daughter as wife. Even if I am dead, it will never happen. So you get out of my premises and I don't want to see you here again or with my daughter. And if I do, you will not drive out. You will be carried out. Now, get out. I said get in! Like you? 
You, you, you call yourself a Christian? A man of St. John? God, you don't even have a heart of a Christian. Tell me that is it the same God that created you, that created him? Oh, we were going to the one I watched over the television the other night, preaching about one nation, but one people, one, one people, only one God. Oh, you, you, you don't believe in one thing and then you, you preach another? This is a serious matter. Honey, please. I think we should handle this matter with ease, please. Handle which matter with ease? Angela, I know my pains. No child of mine will have anything to do with a Hausa and a Muslim. so much and he has his reasons for taking taking his stand just like you have your own reasons for taking your own stand now the two of you cannot continue fighting like this you will end up killing each other but, but, but why why has he refused to see my own point of view why come on honey your father understands your point of view he's only trying to protect you from what mom what is he protecting me from? From love? Definitely not from love. From pain. From heartache. Disappointment and disaster. In my loving Kadri, in my wanting to marry Kadri, it's going to bring me disaster, pain, heartbreak. I mean, that is a price I am willing to pay. Come on, Rosie. Nobody, nobody walks into the fire with their eyes wide open. Now you think again. Oh, mommy, I am tired. I'm thinking I'm tired. All I can see is that my heart, my soul, my body, everything I have. It's tied up to Kadri. Nothing else matters, Mom. Nothing else matters. And if Dad says he's going to disown me because I am getting married to Kadri, then so be it. Where are you coming from? I went to drop off Rose. Since you said you didn't want to see her in your house, so I'll take her home. Hey, don't under, don't under me. Why are you such a big headed idiot? Did you see the shame and disgrace you heaped upon my name this evening? Alaji, if you see this as a disgrace, then what will you call? Or consider the constant harassment and embarrassment you've been heaping upon me by insisting that I marry Aminat. Wallahi, Laji, Rosie, Nikeso, and there is nothing you can do about it. Kader, Wallahi, Tallahi, Billahi, Lazila, Ila, Ilahua, Nagamka. Madness has touched you. Laji, Anna will live with that madness until you see with it with me. Shikina. Come here. I said, come here. Come here. Take it. Dambanda. Like Yamaka. But I can't see you. Nina didn't kiss her. No, no. Then no, no. Hello. Hello. Yeah, Rosie. This is Eunice. I was getting very worried. We didn't see you at the office yesterday and you haven't showed up today. Is everything alright? You know, I don't feel like work today. <laughs> you can't 
Be serious. Okay, tell me. What's the problem? What is eating you up? Huh? It's good. And what about Kadri? Finis, it seems like the whole world is going to a grand conspiracy to stop us from being together. And because of that, you decided not to come to work? What am I supposed to do? Look, it's like the whole world has come down on my head. Everybody and everything is just against us. Okay, all right, all right, all right, hang in there. I'll call her for you, okay? And I'll come over after work. Entangled. Angela, say something better. She's in love. What does that imply? Well, I was thinking, um, rather suggesting, that instead of us driving her to never speak down, we better, you know, try to, um... Better what? Well, all I'm saying, you know children of these days, you know how they can be. Why don't we just let her be? Let her be? Well, instead of losing her completely, at least we can lose her halfway. We can, um... You know, you know what I'm trying to say? Knight of Saint John should allow her daughter convert to Islam? That is a sacrilege. But is there no way we can at least try to, you know? Angela. Angela. Jesus Christ said that nobody gets to his father except through him. I don't serve two masters. I have Jesus Christ at whom everybody will believe in, including my daughter. I and my house. Serve the Lord. And that is all I want to hear in this case. Now, Angela, you may go. Is there no Angela? I said you may go. Don't worry, Amina. Ah, 
I'm taking care of everything. I said, don't worry. Well, I. No. All right. All right. All right, my dear child. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Everyone is fine. Everyone is fine. There is something. Oh, at the end of the month, that is good. Very, very good. Look, I, I, I have a surprise for you. I said I have a surprise for you. Yes. Yes. You will receive it when you yes, when you can. That's it. You know, you, you know that you are 22 years now, isn't it? Then come and let's talk it over like father and son. They are fine. Great. Oh, I am just waiting to receive you, my son. Should we be talking about luck or courage here? Who's without this? Courage, skill, without luck, is useless. You're really scary. There's nothing to be scared about. was God's own country. Crap. What do you mean crap? 
know what I mean? All those tales about everything coming easy in America? Crap! There are guys surviving out there just by the skin of their teeth. So, what do you want to do now? Go back? No, I don't intend to. I've got my master's degree. I want to make use of my experience and see how things work out. That is very good. You speak like a mad short man. I'm just taking after my dad, my old man. <laughs> and uh, that brings me to our conversation we had on the phone. Uh, yeah? You know, you're not getting younger, my son. <laughs> Says who? Your father. <laughs> But uh, since, since you intend uh, settling down, why don't you just make it total? How total? Get a wife. And uh, it makes one have that sense of responsibility. Of course, Dad, sure, why not? But I need more space to move around, I need time. Yes, at, at your age, I already had two of you. That was then. As it was in the beginning. Dad, come on, please. I, I gotta move around, meet with the right woman, and then, who knows? Anything can happen. But I've got the right woman for you. Honestly, I thought you were kidding me. How can I be kidding with that type of a thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell, that bus is interesting. Really, really, really interesting. I guess you also believe I'm a robot too. Come on, we ain't talking electronics here. No matter are we talking about cars or what have you. Adolf, you are my son and I know what you would like. Are you certain about that? Adolf, why don't you just wait and see her? <laughs> I gave up. All right then, yes. you got a deal. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, man. Cheers, Dad. And why would mom and dad be that behemoth? Religion. That is just it. Well, frankly speaking, religion does play an important role, especially in these parts. But certainly, yes. But tell me, what happens to civilization? What happens to the dead age? You see, um, my dearest sis, dad ain't just an ordinary worshipper. He's a knight. The Catholic Knight of St. John's. Oh yes, that's the more reason why he should be more accommodating towards his daughter's, his only daughter's emotions. Tell me, sis, this guy, he mean much to you? No, he means everything to me. You know I wouldn't like to you. do this for me, but I'll always be grateful. Please. Please. Calm down, come on, come on. You're my little sis. I can watch you grieve. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm grown up now. Uh, you always be my little sis. Okay, you know, my little sis. <laughs> Kader, you are my only child. And I want you to understand that your father will never, never deceive you. I understand that, Alaji. So I want you to let go of this relationship and follow your destiny to its logical conclusion. Well, I, Alaji, my destiny lies with Rosie. I expect you should know that. Kadir, you know, every time I look at you, I see nothing else but madness. You have gone completely mad. Alaji. There's no dictionary in the world 
that associates love with madness. If you take some time to read the Holy Quran, then you will understand the essence of a true Muslim. To, to madden Laji. But won't you be happy to see me convert a non-believer to the faith? Kadir, Kadir, I have already concluded arrangements for you and Aminat. Alaji Brahman does not talk carelessly. Alaji, my testimony doesn't lie in your hand. Oh, it is. It is. And you, you better, you better believe it. I understand my sister's position even better. But you know, I think this kind of situation is best handled rather tactfully. I know. It's just that my father is, is the father of virtually every rule in the book. I don't know about yours. My name is Father Prof. Either, man. And he has my mother's ideas to back him up. That's why we need you. Yeah, that's why we're here. I heard from Marseille's her impression. Just wanted to know what the man who Marseille has the hearts for, thinks the world of, and is taking every risk for, thinks of her. The sister, Rosie, brings the whole world to me. I love her. I can't do without her. My father has just bluntly refused to understand. But from the look of things, it appears as if your parents are trying to same step too. Well, I want to tell you that you got a warning your hands, man. Well, like I promised my sister, I'll talk to my parents. But let me warn that my dad is a pretty difficult man to knock off a conviction. He can't be worse than my father. But never mind. I have designed some strategy on how to deal with this stubbornness. All right, man. I'll, I'll see what I can do, okay? Just calm down. Who's this? Who's this? Calm down, man. Calm down. Okay. It's going to be all right. Quite beautiful. Thanks. And I must say, I, I admire your intelligence. Thank you again. Welcome. Um, tell me, how do you fancy it? What? I mean, this prearranged meeting. My father pressing all the buttons and all the stuff. Well, it depends. On what? You know, sometimes people meet in many ways. Exactly. See, if I may ask you, what do you think of me? I think you're cute, intelligent, and a um, warm guy. <laughs> and you're likable. I see.
Are you nice? I love my parents. I love my dad a lot. I respect his views. I also like you very much. I admire you in a lot of ways, a lot of things. But frankly, there has to be that cord, that bonding, that energy, a chemistry, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm lost. Um, please, could you enlighten me? Okay, um, let me be frank with you. I didn't feel anything for you when we first met. Nothing at all. It may come later, but we have to be very careful, assuming it never comes. I understand. Good. But nothing stops us from being friends, and nothing says we can't see each other. But in the real sense of the word, let's not pretend, eh? Listen, Adolf, I am a knight. I know. Do you understand what it takes to be one? Well, that apparently stewardship, uncompromising attitude to the Catholic doctrines, and most probably fat enveloped offers on a consistent basis. That's all you know? Well, maybe a little bit of fraternity. Good to try, but you got it all wrong. So, Dad, educate me. No, uh, that, that is not the matter. <coughs> but take it from me. No knight of the Roman Catholic order gives out his son or daughter into Islamic life. Even when there is every indication that that son or daughter in question will be happier for it, Dad, come on. <laughs> Adolf, happiness out of such a union is an illusion. It ends up in agony. I, I am inclined to saving your sister from such a fate. Uh, uh, okay, Dad. Let me ask you this. What if the guy in question decides to convert to Christianity? The guy also would be willing to do that. How about that, Dad? I will not allow that. Dad, why? <laughs> because it is just a charade to get my daughter. He will convert when the dust settles. Adolf, calm down. Just look, I am too old a bird to be caught up in such a simplistic ploy. Go and tell your sister and that son of an imposter that this is a mission impossible. or whatever your name is. Now get your shameless daughter off my son's back. I have told her severally that my son is not, he, 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 he's not for her. But she will not keep her shameful, useless, fictitious legs off my residence. Are you mad? Who are you? You walked into my house to talk to me about your unbaptized and your uncircumcised son. Can I, I will come. Now listen to me, you fool. If you don't keep your daughter away, now I, then I will chop her into bits and feed her to the vultures. 
The next time she calls in, 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 in my, 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 my residence. You come here and talk to me anyhow. You get me out of my house. Stay. Otherwise, I will tell you something. I will tell you the law. This is the last warning for you. I cannot catch your daughter again. For now, I will be the last warning. This is the last warning. If I ever catch you again in my house, you are circumcised. I will deal with you. Should be living together in peace. 